we got ourselves an older Dell here. A Dell 2350. And uh, as you can kind of tell from the sticker here, it's a little bit of an older system. If you couldn't tell just by the look of it. And what this customer wants is me to go through and reload their system. That's no problem. Um, you know, that's pretty standard. Just put in the Windows disk, reload it, use the product key on either the side or back of the computer, and you're good to go. But what I do that a lot of other shops don't do is I go through and test the hard drive out. Uh, in this case, the con customer's complaining about, uh, like, Microsoft Word opens up, gives her errors, or um, a couple other programs just give her an error, don't open up. She can't open up her Internet Explorer. A um, couple other little error messages that she's just kind of using it, and she says it's slow, all that stuff. Well, there's a couple possibilities. There, you could have a virus. You could have a hardware failure. With a computer old like this, you can have basically where the hard drive's starting to go, but it's not quite gone yet. So what happens is the um, system itself it runs slower. Bad sectors start to develop, and as a result, uh, DOL files or program files end up getting corrupted. So what I do before I go through and reload a system is I test the hard drive out. And best way I find to do it is to use Spinrite version 6, uh, available through Gibson Research. And I'm going to screen away so you can't see my serial number. There we go. And uh, once you go through the first couple screens, I like to put into maintenance mode, which goes through and tests the read and write of the drive. You select the drives and partitions. I test the entire drive. And it tells you it's about to check it, yada yada yada, press enter to continue. And it goes through and starts reading the drive. Now what I like to do is check the bottom section where you see the megabytes completed. I basically look at that and make a judgment on how fast it's going. As you can see, it's actually going pretty darn slow. Um, that's 20 megabytes. It's not a comma there, it's a, it's a decimal point. <laughs> so it's only done 29 megabytes so far, so that sounds a little bit on the slow side to me. Uh, considering this probably has an ATA drive in it, um, they're supposed to get around 100, realistically probably like 50 uh, you know, 40, 50 megabits if you're um, doing good. So that seems a bit slow. I could even set like 20 megabits. But we're doing like 1 megabit per second. Further, if you go through and go to the other screens in here, you should be able to get to the smart system monitor. I also look for things such as the temperature here. If the temperature goes really, really high, that tells me either this thing is chuck full of dust without even having to open it up, or there's possibly something wrong with the drive that's causing it to overheat. Uh, sometimes you can go in, open up a system, looks dust-free, but there's dust caked on the other side of the hard drive. Um, things like that. And uh, additional information here, we're starting to see a high... ECC corrected error count in my opinion. Um, realistically, you shouldn't really see that going up much. You know, like four or five, that's nothing big, but we're getting a couple thousand here. So that's another red flag for this. And uh, Dynastat only shows you uh, when it starts processing recoverable data. But we go back to our graphic status display and we see we're only at 90 megabytes completed out of 30 gigs. So this tells me this drive is probably starting to go on this uh, system. I'll be informing her that I think the system has got a bad hard drive in it. Um, let her know that that's a p real possibility here and this can actually save the customer you know time and money. You know, they can go through and pay me the money, go through and reload the system, 
or I can go through do this you know quick diagnostic to see if that's the issue my suspicion with a bad drive here and let them know hey the cause for your problem was basically hard drive starting to go I can reload it for you it'll work for a while you talking like maybe a couple months um, before you probably start having the same issues again so do you want me to go ahead and just replace your drive now and you don't see these problems again or you know do they want to just go ahead and get another computer I like giving them those options before I go ahead and just flat out wipe it out and reload it because uh, they could be spending money on something that's not worth it anymore and with a computer this old uh, you know if they're just going to use it for the kids or something like that um, you know I'm talking about little wee kids uh, then yeah I would throw a hard drive in it let them fool around with it because they don't need the fastest you know i7 processor out there uh, they can do word processing on an old Celeron running XP disconnected from the internet so it's all about giving the customer options so uh, if you're wondering if uh, they were to go through and get a hard drive replaced in this generally you can get one for around seventy bucks um, for an old ATA drive brand new if you went through on eBay got a used one you are probably talking about you know twenty bucks or something like that but a used one you're probably going to have problems like these here uh, with very slow read write speed so I'm going to let this go through run through entirely um, as you can see down there it's going to take approximately nine hours uh, to do uh, I can work on other things in the meantime such as editing and uploading videos to YouTube but there you go always run a hard drive test before you wipe and reload your system make sure it's working correctly don't always expect that the hard drives master table master bad sector table uh, is going to actually correctly report that it's got bad sectors. Uh, sometimes Windows listens to it, sometimes it doesn't, and sometimes it pop up before it even knows about them. So until next time, I'll see you later.